Take it away, Ashley. So this is the axonal terminal. When a nerve impulse reaches the end of an axon voltage, gated calcium channels open, allowing the calcium to flow into the neuron. Symphatic, symphatic vessels fuse with the axonal membrane and release the ACH into the symphatic cleft. This area here is a synthetic cleft. Then the ACH will bind to the receptors of the motor end plate. Once the gate opens, this causes sodium to depolarize the interior of the sacrolemma. And the sacrolemma is the muscle and then the sodium furthermore goes down the T-tubules, which is right here. It is going from the nerve traveling down the T-tubes and where it is going to reach the sacroplasm rictum. As it's going down the T-tubules, it causes the sacroplasm um, reticulum to release calcium. The magnets represent calcium. The calcium binds to the trophin, which changes the remotes of the blocking action of the trimomyosin. This contraction occurs because of the sliding filament theory, and sacromeres are shortened. Then the action polyntol ends. This contraction occurs because of the sliding filament theory and sacromeres are shortened. Then the action polyntiol ends and CA2 is removed. From the tropin. It is then pumped back into the sacroplasm. The blocking of the poly polymyosin is restored with the removal of calcium. Finally, the cross bridge formation is back to normal and relaxation occurs. <laughs>